Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. On this channel you're going to find the latest news about Azure Virtual Desktop, Windows 365, Intune, Entry ID and much much more. So today I'm going to talk to you about a new release feature called AppAttach aka MSX AppAttach V2. The MSX format which AppAttach leverages was originally released in 2018 and was meant as a replacement for the MSI format but adoption has been slow but slowly starting to increase. MSX Appetizer was released in April 2020 and was created so we could attach applications to our AVD session host without having to install the applications on the session host or the image, which meant for much simpler application management as we were decoupling the applications from the image or the session host. Some of the vendors have been doing this for years with some success, Liquid Worm Citrix are a few examples of that. However, as that MSX Appetizer is now nearly four years old, we're starting to see some limitations in the product. The biggest limitation from my point of view is a direct support. So MSX AppAttach is only supported on Active Directory Domain Services, whereas AppAttach is supported on Active Directory Domain Services, but most importantly also Enter ID. This is really key and really important as many organizations are moving away from Active Directory Domain Services and also are migrating to Enter ID. And also at Vigo's end of life in 2026, when we drive to also migrate from Windows 10 to Windows 11 using AppAttach as the method of migrating your applications, is now like an easy button. However, be aware that AppAttach is still using the MSX format for your applications. So please test them and ensure that they work in the MSX format before configuring them and testing them with the AppAttach. Another major change to AppAttach compared to MSX AppAttach is the ability to assign applications to users. So originally we had to create app groups for each application and then assign it to the host pool, which meant that everyone who logged onto that session edge could then see that application. We could create further app groups so any certain user could see those applications, but there's a limitation of only 500 app groups per tenant, so that could get very complicated very quickly. The other major change is that we can assign applications to multiple host pools. So previously we had to create separate packages for each host pool, which would then make things even more complicated for application updates and version. And um, so now we can just create one package and then spread that out to multiple host pools a lot easier. And the final change, which is really cool, is that users can run two versions of the same application on the same session host at the same time. This could be really useful where the business requires different versions of applications to be used for different use cases. Previously, we would have to split these out into separate host pools, but now we don't need to do that. So, in summary, AppAttach is a huge improvement over the existing MSX AppAttach. And with the improved compatibility and adoption of the MSX packaging format, this is going to lead to much wider adoption in the future. For the rest of the video, we're actually going to go and package up an application using the Microsoft MSX packaging tool. We're then going to convert it into the AppAttach format using MSX Hero, and then we're going to attach it to our host pool using the new AppAttach functionality. So now what we're going to do, we're actually going to package up um, VLC Media Player. So first of all, we are going to launch the uh, Microsoft Packaging Tool, so MSX Packaging Tool. So this is a fresh VM um, that I've got. So I'm going to launch this up now. We're going to Application Package. So we're going to create a package. Okay, it's going to create a package on this computer. The packaging driver is already installed. So I'm going to point it to my installer. So we go to C source vlc media player so that's what i'm going to use um, for this package so signing preference um i'm not going to select anything now because we're actually going to create the certificate um a bit later so we're going to select next so package name so i'm going to call that vlc uh, package display name vlc media player publish name so cn equals vlc Publish a display name, so VLC. I'm just going to do this as 1.0.0.0. Package description, VLC media player. Install location, I'll just leave for default. Okay. Uh, publish display name is not valid. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, publish a display name, so VLC. Okay. I create your package installation so that actually kicks off the installation for you um, automatically as you can see so I'm just going to select OK 
through the installation process and basically what's happening now is essentially just capturing everything um, that's been written um, to the operating system the registry the files that kind of stuff so we're going to go to next install so we're going to put the default install location so if there's any customizations that you need to do um, to the package um, you do this at this time and um, when you configure it so anything I do um, right now is being captured okay and that will actually go into the uh, MSX Appetach application so uh, wait for that to finish Okay, so I'm not going to run it. I'm just going to click finish. We're not going to restart the machine, so I'll just click it next. Okay, so let's create a new package list. We don't need any services or anything. So I'm going to click next. Are you done? Yes, move on. Okay, so let's prepare in my package. No service is detected, so we select next. Create the package, so I'm just going to put this onto the desktop. So click create. Okay, and there we have it. So we've now successfully created the uh, MSX package. So next we need to create a certificate for that, sign the package, and then we can create the VHD file and then um, attach that as an application. Now we need to create the uh, certificate and then also um, attach the certificate to the package. Um, and then convert that package into a VHD file. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that now. So to do this, I'm actually using a third party tool called MSX Hero. Um, there are other tools on the market available, but I prefer to use this one because it's like really, really easy to use. Okay, right, so um, I've pre installed this. So we're going to go to tools. We are going to create a self signed certificate now. Obviously, we would recommend using a um, enterprise CA to do this. Um, I'm just doing this because I don't have one in my environment. Okay, so publish your display name. I'm going to create that as. Um, yep, I'll do it as the application. So VLC. Um, you got two options. You can either do this on a per application basis, or what is probably the most better thing to do is to create like a package certificate. Um, and then you use that same certificate to um, package all your applications and sign them and then that means that you only have one certificate to manage essentially so when you go to renew that certificate and resign it resign all the applications um, it's much easier to do that so I'm going to do this so valid until uh, 1st of July 2025 I'm going to put a password on there okay I'm uh, going to click generate certificate Okay, so let's generate a certificate for me. Okay, so I'm going to click the close button. Now I'm going to sign that MSX package. Okay, so if I go to my uh, package, so this is VLC here. So I click open. I'm signed with PFX file. So that'll be the one that we just created. So I'm going to go to documents and then that's going to be in certificates so vlc select this one put the password in okay i'm going to select random selection from this and known servers and then i'm going to select update selected packages okay so what this is now going to do this is actually going to sign the um the package that we created earlier with that certificate and then it will actually output the certificate when we convert it to a VHD file as well okay so that's been successfully signed so I'm going to click the close button so now that we have signed the uh, MSX application uh, we now want to convert it into a VHD file um, and then upload it onto our uh, MSX file share so again I'm going to use MSX Hero to do this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select create app attached for you okay I'm going to add the package so the package is the one that we just signed so I'm going to click to desktop go to VLC media player and I'm just going to click uh, just going to select create the volume for app attach 
I'll just walk you through the options. So you can do this as like SIM or VHDX. Just for simplicity, um, I'm doing it actually as VHD. And we're going to extract the certificate because we'll need that to install onto the session host. Um, and then I'm actually going to untick generate scripts for staging, registering, destaging, and deregistering because they're the ones that we would have needed previously um, when we're using Appetach, but we don't need those anymore, okay? Because um, the, the Azure Virtual Desktop service is doing that for us, right? So just click on the advanced and it's going to let it's going to let MSX Hero select the required VHD size, so and that'll be as small as it needs to be. Okay, so now we're going to select that. We're going to go create volume for Appetach. I'm going to select that to the desktop. So again, I'll call that VLC Media Player. Okay, click save. Yes. Okay, so that's now basically going to take that uh, MSX file and it's going to create a VHD package for that, um, including the certificate. Um, and then we can then use that to upload onto the Appetach file share. Ignore the error message, and we, we don't need to worry about that. Let's click close. Okay, so you can see that on my desktop, I've got a VLC media play VHD file, and we've also got the certificate that we need and to install onto the session host as well. Okay, so now I want to load the files that we just packaged onto my file share. So I've got an Azure file share, which is uh, Active Directory Domain Joint. So I'm just uh, I've connected to this file share and now I'm just going to upload the files. So browse the files, select VLC media player. So I'm going to select those, click open, tick overwrite just in case, and then upload those. Okay, so that's pretty quick. As you can see, that's now uploading onto the file share. And now if we go onto the um, Azure Virtual Desktop file share, um, we should see them. So if I just click that, click refresh, um, so we can see those files there. So now we're actually going to go into the Azure Virtual Desktop portal and make that application available to our users. Okay, so as you can see here, um, in the Azure Virtual Desktop portal, um, we've got a new menu option for App Attach. So this is sitting at this level because we're now able to assign the applications to directly to the host pools or the users. Okay, so it doesn't need to be on a per host pool basis. I can assign it to multiple host pools um, if I wanted to. Okay, so we're going to select create app attached package. And we're going to select the resource group, which is Nerdio test 2. We're going to select the host pool, which is the app attached location. I'm going to select that as central US. Click next. Go to my storage account. So this is the storage account which we previously uploaded the files onto. So I'm going to select that as virtual mic apps AD. That's my Azure, AD, Azure Files um, domain join storage account. Let's select the file. So it's going to be VLC media player.vhd. Select. Okay, so that's reading that file. So now we can see um, the MSX package. So I'm going to select that one. So display name, I'm going to put this as VLC media player. We're going to select registration type register upon logon. So that basically what that means is when I log on to the session host, um, it will register the application and make it available to that specific user. State, we're going to select as active and health check on failure. We're going to select needs assistance. Okay. Select next. So this is where we actually sign it to the user, right? So this is the first big difference. Um, so previously we'd select it to, so for app groups, um, now we're actually assigning it to specific users. So add users, so you can do it on groups as well if you wanted to. So if you had like group called VLC Media Player, um, you could assign that. But I'm just going to do it on a per user basis at the moment for the testing. So I'm going to select WVD Admin, which is my user account. Okay, I'm going to select that. And the host pool is going to be app attach. So I just want to make sure. Yep, yeah, okay. Select next. Next. Okay, assignment host pools one, username WVD admin. Okay, and then we click create. Okay, so that's successfully created the uh, application within AppAttach. So now if I go back to my uh, AppAttach menu, I should be able to see it. So let's go back, go to Azure Virtual Desktop, go to AppAttach, and you can see um, there is the application. Right, so let's now actually look at this in action. 
so I've actually logged on to my um, AVD session host. So the first thing that you notice when we launch this management, you can actually see disk one here. So disk one, 234 megabytes, is actually the application attached. Okay, so that's the VHD file, which has been attached to the session. Um, and we've had a desktop on the start menu, so that's VLC media player. So now you notice if I click that, that application is now um, available to that user, okay, without actually being installed on the actual image. So just to prove that, um, if I just go into SIMD and go to appwiz.cpl, it's easy, appwiz.cpl, um, you'll see here I don't have VLC Media Player in my sort of admin programs, um, just to prove that it's nice installed. And we're using this uh, with MSX app attached. Okay, so for the user, it's seamless. The user doesn't know. The user doesn't understand what's happening in the background. And um, we don't have to put this in, in the image. And uh, we can now manage this outside of the image um, independently. So, really, really cool solution. Um, obviously, the limitations are it is based around MSX. So, um, some people do have issues with application compatibilities, um, interacting with the local operating system, that kind of thing. So the, my only recommendation I can make is test it, right? So test it with your applications and if they work, it's a really, really good solution uh, because it really helps uh, with the delivery of applications and makes a, the sort of image management a lot less complicated because um, we don't have to go and install uh, the images, uh, sort of the applications onto the images. So that's it from me today. Um, I hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you for the next one. Thanks. Goodbye.